Huh? Who... Who's there? Not this again. Can I have one night of peaceful sleep? Please? <sighs> Maybe I should see a doctor or something. Then again, I already know I'm crazy. What good will that do? You're not crazy. D dad Marigold, my daughter, please forgive me. Is it really you? Or just a memory? Please tell me, what is going on? I'm sorry for everything. It was the only way. I am a part of you now. A part of me? My hands. What did you do to my hands? The gift. The curse. It's yours now. Do not make the same mistakes I did. Marigold. Don't call me that. I'm not your little girl anymore. I have a life of my own now. One that I built myself. I wish I could explain my actions better. But my presence here is fleeting. My time is short. Please, forgive me. How am I supposed to forgive you when all you do is talk in circles? This is for you. Stop it! <sighs> Dad, if you can hear me, I don't want to forgive you. I want to forget you. So just leave me alone. I need to get out of here. Things haven't cooled down at the Authority yet, but I should probably check on Kit anyway. That will take my mind off things. Hooray! Jules! I'm so excited you decided to visit me! Me too, Kit. How's everything going on the Fortilla? Well, let me tell ya, I have been busy! Oh yeah? Uh-huh, you'll never guess it, but I think I got myself a girlfriend. A girlfriend? Kit, aren't you a little young for all of that? Not according to Ocean. She's a cat expert, and she says it's perfectly normal. Which is good, because even if Kyo's not a proper girlfriend girlfriend, I'm fairly sure that I'm in love. Well, that's great. I'm happy for you. Yep, so many adventures, so little time! Ah, uh, but what about you, Jules? I'm sure there's lots of exciting things going on back at the corner, eh? Well, uh, yeah. Just yesterday, one of those old Sentinel robots came in for repairs. The thing wouldn't stop calling me a meat bag. I charge a little extra as a bad behavior fee. Ah, uh, classic Jules! Well, enough of all that. What do you have planned for us today? Personally, I could use some time on the open water. Feel that ocean air breeze through my hair, you know? Uh, you're having more of your flashes, right? I... Wh what? How do you know about them? Sorry, I just heard you talking to Paul about them one night. The fresh air helps, right? Well... Yeah. Then that's what we'll get! Come on, Jules, let's mosey! Thanks, Kit. I'll drive. And away we go! Ah, this is nice, Jules. It sure is. Hi. Marigold. Ah. Jules? You alright? Yeah, I just... Ah. Jules, careful. We're getting awful close to that whirlpool. Ah. My head. Jules, Jules, look out! Jules! Ugh. <coughs> oh, God. Gross. Ow. Kit, are you okay? I think so. Robody's gonna be a bit rusty after that, though. Oh, jeez, Kit. I'm sorry. I really screwed up. It's not your fault. It's your heads, right? <sighs> yeah, I guess. So what do we do now? Well, my phone wasn't waterproof. So I guess we'll have to sit tight and wait for rescue. Ah! 
Huh? What was that? What the? It's a, it's a little creature. That's a critter to you. I'm sorry, little guy. I didn't see you down there. Oh, great. Big Bud is sorry. Well, all is forgiven then. Hey, I don't... I mean, I'm not... Save it. Ugh, my pickaxe arm is all busted. This is not good. Oh, jeez, Jules. Your butt really hurt it. My... <sighs> is there anything we can do to help? Well, I was supposed to gather wood for my village, but now there's no way I'll be able to carry it all the way back there. It's miles away. Is that it there? Well, uh, yes. Look, there's more of them. Greetings, giant ones. I am the Coral Elder. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. For you see, your voices are like many hundreds of loudspeakers to us. Oh, sorry. We'll try to be quieter then. You hurt our builder! Now all of our technological progress will be for nothing! Relax. I'm sure she did not mean to flatten the poor thing with her enormous backside. Why, you little... We want to make it up to you guys. Maybe we could bring you materials. Yes, that would do much to mend the fifis of the coral critters. Village Elder, such a task would take these goliaths mere minutes. They will learn nothing from such a trivial effort. You are correct. Big ones, we accept your most gracious offer. But to truly know our plight, you must become like us. Be small. What now? Whoa, Jules, look at this! Please don't tell me. Welcome to the Coral Village. I must be dreaming. Unless we're both having the same dream? I think this is real. But this is insane. We're doll-sized. Think on the bright side. At least now your butt isn't so big. Listen, you big, stupid jellyfish. You better turn me and Kit back to normal right now or else. Threats. Have you truly learned nothing? We thought you wanted to help us after your most heinous transgression. We do, but not like this. Kit's right. How are we supposed to help you when we're so small? Size matters not. Judge me by my size, do you? Honestly? A little bit, yeah. Humph. The magic will not be undone until you make good on your offer to help. So I would suggest you get started. Yeah! <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this. We'll get your materials, but you better have whatever reverses this crap ready when we get back. Fair enough. Farewell and good luck. Jules, remind me to drive the boat next time, okay? Yeah. Here, we have plenty of materials for your technological progress. Can you make us big again now? Well, yes, but the villagers have been talking and... What is it now? Well, none of us have the proper tools and haven't built much more than the walls you see around you. Whereas you... You're an engineer, right? We saw your fancy tools when you washed on the shore. You saw that? Wait a minute. Was this whole thing a setup for me to build your village for you? No, oh, please forgive us. It's not every day a giant engineer and her cat come along. We would be hopeless without your help. 
So that guy I sat on, is he okay? Oh no, he's quite injured still, but it was all for the cause. Please, we throw ourselves at your mercy. Jules, you like building things, right? What do you say? Well, fine. You're lucky I needed something to keep my mind occupied. Splendid. So, what shall we do to help? Just stay out of my way. Wow, I love watching her work. You got this, Jules. My, it's, it's, it's beautiful. We owe you a debt that we can never repay. Phew, don't mention it. I've got to be honest, I've never built anything like that before. It was fun. Oh, look, you even made little huts. Our people will build a statue honoring your work here today. Thanks, but you know what we want. So, any time now. We'll return you to normal first thing tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I think we've all had a long day. Now it's time for rest. <sighs> They've got a point. All right, fine. I guess I do want to try out my handiwork firsthand. But tomorrow... You, Big, we get it! <sighs> Ugh, still... Everyone's asleep. No matter what I do, I can't stop hearing your voice. Please, whatever you have to say, just say it already. Marigold. D- Dad? I am a part of you. You said that before. I'm sorry. I know you are, but that doesn't help anything! Jules, you must forgive yourself. Wait, did you say Jules? You are not responsible for my actions, only your own. You are your own person. I am a part of you, but only in your mind. I understand. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Marigold. done much for our village and now as promised we shall return you to your normal size are you ready yes sir aren't we jules y yeah of course let's do this all right then look at the head and say the words be big be big be big Ooh, that's much better we did it, Jules! We sure did, Kit. Oh, look at that! The singing boy! Bye, guys! Hey, guys, need a lift? Ocean, how'd you find us? All Fortilla boats are equipped with a tracking beacon. When yours went out, I knew something was wrong. I've just been popping from island to island hoping to find you. Wow, thanks, Ocean. You're a lifesaver. You got it. So, what'd you do during your little island vacation? Well, first of all, it wasn't exactly little. <laughs> That's a good one, Jules. 